Uh, good evening. The Bulletin Man joins you on this Friday night. It's November 4th, 2011, and uh, we're about a year away from election time. So we've, we've hit campaign mode. Now, I ran for sheriff back in uh, 2000 down in St. Francis County on a platform of justice for all, not just us. That was uh, 11 years ago. And basically everything that I wrote about and everything that I um, talked about in that election has come to pass. Now, do I really want to hold any office? No, I really don't. Uh, that was never my intention. But I have had a dream about being the sheriff of Crawford County. Uh, and I believe that was a dream from God. Am I going to run for the office of sheriff? I don't know. Uh, the way they, the law reads now, you got to go to cop school. After I ran for sheriff in 2000, they decided to change the law to um, make it to where you had to be uh, 700 hours in their credit cop school. Is that law constitutional? No, I don't think so. And perhaps we'll fight them in court. I don't know what, exactly which way I'm going to go. But I cannot sit here and complain and murmur and uh, basically bitch and moan about the system if I'm not willing to sacrifice and get myself in a position to where I can make some sort of change. This things aren't right. And you folks down in Crawford County, I know I got my haters. I got a lot of people just look at me and try to figure out who I am. Um, you folks need to wake up and realize that this is the end of time. These are the end days. Life as you know it in America is about ready to change very dramatically and very drastically. That is going to happen. It's inevitable. Decline is right on time. The economy is about ready to collapse. Uh, you notice you're working harder and harder and the dollar is going less and less and spending less and less. Do you realize in the 1912, one ounce of gold, a $20 gold piece, and a $20 bill were the same value? Today that ounce of gold covers about $1,600, $1,700. Uh, your $20 is still just that. You've been robbed by inflation of 1% of your purchasing power every year for the last 98 years, 99 years. It zeroes out next year, my friends. Uh, on top of that, taxation, 8%, at least 8%, 9% of what you buy is tax. So you spend a dollar, you're giving them nine cents. Not to mention income tax, permitting fees, license fees. The American standard of living has dropped dramatically in the last 60 years. And most of you folks don't even realize it or don't even care. And what they're doing with the tax money that they're extorting from you is taking that and not providing public services not paving streets, not um, taking care of the water, giving you good quality water. They're, they're, the water you're drinking is poison. It's fluoridated. Look at rat poisoning. On a box of rat poison, sodium fluoride is what the rat poison is. That's what they're putting in your water that you're paying 60 to $80 a month for. Do you realize that? Um, you need to wake up, people. And I'm here to try to wake you up. You might hate me. I really don't care what you think of me, to be quite honest with you. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. You know, I'm no angel. You can look me up. I mean, I've been down this road, and i got a problem with nonviolent victimless crimes. i got a problem with current law enforcement, that they are the criminals. I have no doubt in my mind that the most corrupt people in this county, in any county, are the police and their henchmen. They allow the drug dealing to go on. They're behind it all. It's job security. It's, it's just good business. It's all about money. The love of money is indeed the root of all evil. So, you know what? If you don't harm anyone, if you didn't commit a crime, you know what a crime is or was in America up until the 1920s and 30s, until Prohibition came in, and then after Prohibition, the, the, all the drug laws, uh, the crime was is you actually had to cause provable personal injury, loss, or harm. And now a crime is everything. Everything's criminal. I, 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 what, what do you not do on a daily basis that isn't considered breaking the law? Should they want to catch you or arrest you? Uh, 
and that's really not the way this country was designed. You see, the whole point and purpose of our government is to protect and maintain our God-given individual rights. It is not to play God. And what has happened in this country in the last 70 to 80 years is that uh, they've stolen all of our rights. The government no longer protects and maintains individual rights. It doesn't even go by the Constitution. There's a lot of people out there. Uh, there's a group called RepublicOfMissouri.org. And it claims that the Constitution has actually been suspended since the Civil War. Excuse me while I get a drink. Um, and I think it really probably has been, if you actually study it out. Because certainly what the laws that are operating at, on, under the courthouse, at the courthouse, are not constitutional by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, the American people have been so deluded or dumbed down. Uh, the Bible says it's a strong delusion. Indeed, it is a strong delusion. Because uh, a lot of folks out there don't realize what is going on. And they're really not going to be concerned about it until it touches or affects their life or their family's lives. Uh, man, times are, are going to get hard, folks. I'm just here to warn you. I'm your friend. I'm your bulletin buddy. Believe me. Uh, I love you more than you could ever imagine. Or I wouldn't put myself in a position of great peril and harm. Uh, I'm a praying man. I know the Lord's going to take care of it. He has delivered me out of all my afflictions. And he will continue to do that until he calls me home. Uh, and this I know because the Bible tells me so. And not only because the Bible tells me so, but because I've been delivered out of a few afflictions over the years. Uh, this is my wall of shame or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I've made the paper a few times, folks. And uh, the reason why I've made the paper a few times is because I don't like the establishment. Uh, the reason why that flag over there hangs upside down is because that is the international sign of distress and uh, we are in distress in this country there's no doubt about that but as you can look around here you know um, I'm not a friend of the establishment by any means um, I've been in St. Francis County Wayne County I was down there they ran me out of Wayne County <laughs> they didn't run me out of Jefferson County I chose to get out of there because it's just too big but the reason why I've decided to come back to Crawford County is to uh, try to take a position of power there down here. Now, ideally, it would be the office of sheriff because the sheriff's the highest uh, office holder in the land, and basically can uh, uh, right a lot of these wrongs. And God bless Randy Martin, but uh, he's not your friend, my friends. Uh, even if you're related to him, <laughs> I've met more of his relatives who who uh, have a real problem with him too. I mean, he hasn't done them any favors either. Uh, so anyway, I mean, that's why I'm out here. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, so I do love you, and I do appreciate you tuning in and try to give you a better idea of who I am. If you really want to Google me or go right ahead, Jeff Winehouse is my name, J-E-F-F-W-E-I-N-H-A-U-S. They call me the Bulletin Man. Look at that. You know, um, I've had a long history of this, 15 years. I've been arrested over 30 times, my friends. Um... How many convictions other than traffic related stuff uh, where I actually was provable personal injury loss or harm? Well, you know what? I have one misdemeanor conviction of assaulting a law enforcement officer. But the story behind that in Wayne County was he actually beat me up. I could have took it to trial, but they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. They charged me with a felony. Stuck me in the mental hospital for 13 days. You know what I came out of the mental hospital with? Psychosis not otherwise specified. There's a great Megadeth song. It's got a line in it. It says, once you've acquitted me, once you've committed me, you acquitted me. So maybe I am a little bit crazy. I don't know. It's for a court to determine. <laughs> but um, I'm just telling you, folks, that you're going to have to stand up and take back your country. Uh, power is not given up without a demand. And uh, the people who are stealing your power, who are stealing your rights, and who have hijacked this country are your neighbors and your friends and they're ripping you off and you better understand that and better wake up and realize that they're really not very good neighbors nor are they being very friendly to you or your family so um, pray about it that's all I can tell you you need to get saved you know these things are spiritually discerned 
if you're unsaved, if you're just living in this world, you're not going to see what I see. You're not going to see the wickedness. But if you just simply do this, say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask Jesus into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. Renew in me a new mind. Change my mind. Change my heart. Fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And he is soon to come. If you pray that prayer and you ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. And you accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And if you get into your Bible. Which, shame on me, I don't have a Bible handy. If you get into your Bible and you start reading a King James version of the Bible. Because the oldest trick in the book is did God really say uh, if you start reading the King James Bible, then you're going to realize and understand that God is real. That you are created for a purpose and a plan. And um, He has something for you to do. He will take care of you. He will keep you. Uh, and He wants a relationship with you. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. So what is God? God is His Bible. God is, his, God is the Word. So read your Bible. Get saved. And then you'll know where you're going when this world falls down. And if you, the world's going to fall, folks. Now, I love you. I appreciate you tuning into this broadcast. You'll be hearing a lot more from me, good Lord willing. And uh, we'll see you very soon. And as always, I ask you to tell a friend about me. I am the one and only bullet man. We'll see you soon. God bless you, and God bless America.